Let's pray. Father in heaven, bless Baraton. And thank you for bringing us in a community made of people from different places. We just thank you for the experience. We thank you for the many languages we can hear being sung in praise of you. We pray that we will enjoy this time so that when time comes to leave, we will look back and thank you for the time we enjoyed here. Now we pray that you may bless us with your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, our message today says, Steps made of sacrifice go deeper. Steps made of sacrifice go deeper. Steps made of sacrifice go where? They go deeper. 
when you take steps that are made of sacrifice, you can only go deeper. That's why we are saying that steps made of sacrifice go deeper. When you stop sacrificing, you stop going towards the deep end. To sacrifice is to surrender something. To sacrifice is to lose something for the sake of something you consider much better. And so, in order to get to a deeper end, you need to take steps that are made of sacrifice. Step one, sacrifice. Step two, sacrifice. Step three, sacrifice. And steps made of sacrifice go deeper. Every relationship grows deeper the more we sacrifice for it. A freshman who arrives today in Baraton looks around and decides to leave and go to another university will not miss this university the way somebody who has stayed one year, two years, three years, because the more time you spend, the more you put value on what you have spent your time on. Every relationship grows deeper the more we sacrifice for it. When relationships break and partners had sacrificed for that relationship, the partners hurt deeply because the relationship had gone deeper than usual. Many times some of you come to my office crying because somebody has left you. And the way you cry can tell me how much you have sacrificed for that relationship. Those who wipe one tear, that's one month relationship. <laughs> but those who have been relating one and a half years, they cry and I have to wait for five minutes as they are crying and I pray, sorry, sorry, please. Another one will come. Next semester, there will be another one. Please don't cry. Because the more you sacrifice, the more it hurts. What I'm saying, brothers and sisters, is that the nature of things is that the more we sacrifice, the deeper we go. When you sacrifice a lot of time for one person, when that person leaves, it hurts you much more. But sometimes we sacrifice our morals and we sleep around when we are not supposed to sleep around. So even after one week, the relationship hurts. So you can guess when somebody says, we just knew each other this week. <laughs> and they cry heavily. And I say, mm, it seems what have, has been sacrificed here is not time. There is something else that has been done what? Sacrificed. The point we are making here is that steps made of sacrifice go where? I can't hear you. Steps made of sacrifice go where? Go deeper. Relationships that have had no sacrifice have no depth and they don't hurt and they are not valued. Sacrifice adds quality to any relationship. The more we sacrifice, the higher the value we place on the relationship. Sacrifice is the bedrock of success. Sacrifice is the bedrock of academic success. When you see people sacrifice their sleep, to sit and read, sacrifice a movie, to type a research paper, sacrifice time of loitering at the center to attend a class, their GPA goes up, and later on this semester, when the dean's list is called, they will be walking up as the others who couldn't sacrifice put their hands together for them. The nature of life is that the more you sacrifice, the more you get. For academic success, we must sacrifice. 
For business success, we sacrifice. You don't eat the profit, all of it. When you sell and make some profit, you sacrifice to expand the business. You sacrifice to grow. You sacrifice. And as a result of sacrifice, what began as a small stall be becomes a big shop and becomes a big supermarket, becomes a big business, an international business, because somebody sacrificed. Sacrifice is the bedrock of workplace success. When you sacrifice to finish your assignment and you sit at work beyond closing time and you arrive at work before opening time and you sacrifice, you tend to become a better and valued worker. Sacrifice. Sacrifice is the bedrock of marital success. Sacrifice for husband and wife, sacrificing for the happiness of each other. Sacrifice is the bedrock of parenting success. Brethren, we have just come to say today that steps made of sacrifice go where? I can't hear you. Steps made of sacrifice go where? They go deeper. Our theme for the 10 days of prayer is a deeper experience. A deeper experience with God requires continuous sacrifice. When Adam and Eve were created and placed in the Garden of Eden, the first instructions required sacrifice. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 15, verse 16, and verse 17, God instructs Adam that you are in this garden and you have all freedom, but there is a tree I reserve for myself. You must sacrifice your curiosity. You must sacrifice your lust for that tree and leave it alone for me. Adam and Eve had to sacrifice their curiosity and desire and let the forbidden tree be left untouched and belong to God. While some sacrifice marriage for God never to touch a member of the opposite gender, Adam and Eve had to sacrifice never to touch the forbidden tree. And their welfare in the Garden of Eden depended on that sacrifice and say, I will not touch. Many of us today have accepted the call of Jesus Christ and we have sacrificed all the good cigarettes that are manufactured in the world and advertised to the very beautiful lady holding the stick and posing. We look at it and we sacrifice and say we will not touch. We have sacrificed Chibuku. We have sacrificed Nile Special. We have sacrificed Tasca and all the other drinks of the world for the sake of the kingdom of God. There requires a sacrifice for us to go deeper in a relationship with God. There must be a sacrifice. God told Adam and Eve, don't touch you must sacrifice. So as they walked around and they saw the fruits hanging low and looking lovely, they would walk by and sacrifice and just go for the others. Because steps made of sacrifice go where? They go deeper. The more Adam and Eve sacrificed by leaving that tree alone, the more they enjoyed their home in Eden. The day they stopped sacrificing and decided to eat from that tree, they stopped relating with God, and that was the end of their beautiful experience in the Garden of Eden. It was the beginning of a bad experience with the sin and its consequences. Brothers and sisters, every step of sacrifice goes where? Goes deeper. The day you stop sacrificing, you stop your journey to a deeper relationship with God. The day you stop sacrificing for your studies, you stop your journey to a good GPA. The day you stop sacrificing for your business, you stop your journey to a successful business. The day you stop sacrificing, you stop 
the journey to the destination that you had set. Steps made of sacrifice go deeper. God appeared to one gentleman called Abraham in Genesis chapter 22, verse 1, and told him, Abraham, I want you to go and sacrifice your son. Because steps made of sacrifice go where? They go deeper. And God talks to Abraham and says, I want you to take these steps. Start walking. And the Bible tells us as you read verse 2, verse 3, that Abraham woke up in the morning and started taking the steps of sacrifice. He took some donkeys, put firewood on the donkeys, took his son whom he was going to sacrifice, took some workers, and every step they made was a step of sacrifice towards a destination, and every step of sacrifice goes deeper in our relationship with God. And eventually he left the workers on the foot of the hill and went up with the sun and tied the sun and put the sun on the altar and was ready to destroy the sun, kill him and offer him as a sacrifice. That's when the Bible says in Genesis chapter 22 verse 11 and 12 that the Lord called from the bush and said, hey, Abraham, the Lord called from heaven and told him, Abraham, now I know, verse 12, do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing that you have sacrificed your son. You have not withheld your son, your only son from me. And when he turned, he saw in the bush a sheep for sacrifice. Abraham and Isaac took steps of sacrifice, and they went deeper in their relationship with God. That is one of the deepest points that human sacrifice can go in relating with God. We have just come today to say today, brothers and sisters, that steps made of sacrifice go where? They go deeper. Ask yourself, are you sacrificing for the destination you are interested in? Are you sacrificing? Are you sacrificing for the destination? When our parents look at our future and our guardians, they deny themselves one more suit. They deny themselves one more pair of shoes. They deny themselves a better life. They deny themselves a bigger television screen so that you can come here and have a better future. Because steps made of sacrifice go deeper. When you read Judges chapter 13, we meet a gentleman by the name Samson. And the Bible says in verse 5, these are the instructions from God to the mother of Samson. You shall conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come upon his head, for the child shall be called a Nazarite to God from the womb, and he shall begin to save Israel from the hand of the Philistine. And so what sacrifice was Samson to make? Samson was told, your sacrifice is to leave your hair alone. Hair is quite significant for somebody. Just leave it alone. People may have nice ways of shaving. People may do many things to their hair, but you leave yours alone. You may look at that, oh, I like that hairstyle. Maybe I should shave this. No, 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 no. Sacrifice. But later on, Samson meets Delilah in Judges chapter 16, verse 17. And in verse 17, Samson tells Delilah that the secret of my life is that I made a sacrifice never to touch my hair for the sake of God. And in verse 19 and 20, Delilah cuts, no, it doesn't cut the hair, shaves the hair, Samson's hair. And the sacrifice is gone. And the Bible says in verse 20 of Judges 16, verse 20, that at the end there, but he did not know that the Lord had departed. God left him. When you stop sacrificing, the Lord packs and leaves from your life. Why was the sanctuary made in old Israel? The purpose of the sanctuary was a place of sacrifice. You stop offering sacrifice and God lives. Do we still offer sacrifices in our lives? 
Samson's relationship with God required a sacrifice of never shaving his hair. As long as the sacrifice was made, the Lord blessed Samson with the strength to defeat enemies. The more he kept the hair, the more he sacrificed. I can imagine the way the hair was growing. You know, sometimes some hair grows at the bottom of the neck here, and it becomes irritable, and you just want to shave a little bit so that your neck is free, but he had to sacrifice that irritation. Sometimes the hairline is not straight, and so some of the hairs grows closer to the forehead and interfering with your face. But he had to sacrifice, look somehow ugly, but for the sake of God. Brothers and sisters, it is necessary to sacrifice if we are to go deeper in a relationship with God. The day Samson allowed Delilah into his secret and his hair was shaved, he lost the sacrifice and the journey to a deeper relationship with God ceased. What followed was defeat and later on death. Sacrifices are important in our relationship with God. Sacrifices are the steps we take into a deeper relationship with God. And so there are so many things, brothers and sisters, we are sacrificing. We sacrifice our food, we don't eat anything. We sacrifice our drinks, we don't drink anything. We sacrifice our dressing, we don't just wear anything. We don't throw anything on our body. We sacrifice. Because we know that steps made of sacrifice go where? They go deeper. In Acts chapter 7, we meet Stephen. Stephen sacrificed his life. And the Bible says he went and preached a sermon by giving a testimony to the Sanhedrin. And in verse 54, when they heard these things, Acts chapter 7 verse 54, they were enraged and they ground their teeth. And in verse 55, Stephen, full of the Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And in verse 56, he says, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. And in verse 57, they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and rushed together at him. And verse 58, they cast him out of the city and they stoned Stephen to death. And the witnesses laid their garments at the feet of a young man named Saul, who later on became the great Paul the Apostle. Verse 59, as they were stoning Stephen, Stephen called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And verse 60, falling to his knees, he cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. In other words, he died. Stephen sacrificed his reputation and his life for God. The steps of sacrifice took Stephen deeper to have visions of heaven. The steps of sacrifice took Stephen deeper not to fight for his life, but surrender his life to God. The steps of sacrifice took Stephen deeper to even forgive the people who were in the process of taking his life and cutting him from his family, from his friends, and hurting him with stones. But because of steps of sacrifice and a deeper relationship with God, he could look at them and say, God, forgive them. God, forgive them. Don't lay this sin against them. Because of a deeper relationship with God made of steps of sacrifice. Steps made of sacrifice, brothers and sisters, go deeper. Do you know why we don't forgive? It's because we don't go deeper in our relationship with God. Do you know why you have never forgiven your roommate? Do you know why you have never forgiven your neighbor in Barasi? Do you know why you have never forgiven people who offended you? is because you don't have a relationship with Jesus. If you have a relationship with Jesus, it becomes natural to say, Father, forgive. 
They don't even know what they are doing. Steps of sacrifice will take us deeper in a relationship with God. We refuse to surrender our lives to Jesus because we haven't gone deeper in our relationship with God. Stephen told God, into your hands I commit my spirit. Why? Because he was in a deeper relationship with God. Why do we fight for our lives? Why do we fight for things? It's because we have not had a deeper relationship with God. We hardly see visions of heaven. And what do we see instead? Nightmares and fear of evil powers. We dread the night because all our dreams are of caskets, coffins, dying, people following you with a sword, and hyenas coming after you. Why? Because you don't have a deeper relationship with God. Waking up in the middle of the night, sweating and crying, and breathing hard, then blaming it on witchcraft. You need a deeper relationship with God. We don't testify and preach as Stephen did because we, we haven't gone deeper in our relationship with God. Steps made of sacrifice, go where? I can't hear you, brothers and sisters. Steps made of sacrifice, go where? They go deeper. We need to sacrifice what we love to eat and what we, we love to drink and only eat and drink that which promotes good health. That's the sacrifice we need to make as believers. And so you have seen the sacrifice in our cafeteria here at the university. It's not that we cannot afford chicken, fish, and the other things, but it is a step of sacrifice. We need to sacrifice music and movies and novels and social groups that ruin our morals. Sometimes we have to make a sacrifice and exit our WhatsApp group. We need to make a sacrifice and take music that has been confusing our heads, singing about love, 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 and nobody has loved you. So you go around feeling empty, 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 because the more love you, you, you listen to and no one loves you, you feel empty, empty, love, love, empty, empty, and eventually you fall into the hands of an idiot. We need to sacrifice We need to sacrifice movies. Surely, even at the university, we have no time for following any series. Surely, at the university, we have no business with the torrent and downloading latest movies and sitting the whole night when the last quiz you had two out of 30. Aren't you ashamed? We need to sacrifice dressing to ensure that we dress for the glory of God, not exposing our sexuality. We need to sacrifice tithe and offering amidst economic difficulties. We need to sacrifice time to worship on Sabbath and attend church activities. For us to be here today, it is a sacrifice. We need to sacrifice time to serve in church and serve the Lord. We need to sacrifice time for Bible study, prayer, and fasting. Steps made of sacrifice go where? They go deeper. Listen, friends, the only way to a better life is a life of a deeper relationship with God. If you want a better life in this university and outside this university, you need a deeper relationship with God. If you want to avoid stress, if you want to experience success, if you want to experience happiness, you need a deeper relationship with God. What do you need, brothers and sisters? A deeper relationship with God. And the only way to a deeper relationship with God is to take steps made of what? Sacrifices. And so I want to ask you today, will you take the steps made of sacrifice? We have five minutes to go, brethren, and we are going to use these five minutes to pray for the spirit of sacrifice. I want us to pray for the spirit of what? Sacrifice. I want you to find somebody to pray with 
and don't pray a long prayer. Some of you never get this. Even when we say don't pray a long prayer, seven minutes later we will be here and there are people holding up. I'm asking, let me ask, what are you praying? I said, say a short what? Short prayer. I said, say a short what? I want you to meet your partner. Just ask for one name. Don't ask for two names. Why do you need two names? Just ask for one name and pray that God, please grant so and so a spirit of sacrifice. Because that spirit of sacrifice will bring success in business, success in studies, success in family, success in spiritual life, and it will take us deeper with God. If we are together, say amen. amen. So find somebody and just get to know their one name. Don't say, pardon, pardon, oh, which name, which school, what's wrong with you? This is no time to know each other. Find somebody and pray for them that God will grant them the spirit of sacrifice. Then they, in turn, will pray for you. After that, you remain where you are. When all the prayers have ceased, I will say one final prayer and we will leave. Amen? Our dear Heavenly Father, we pray for the spirit of sacrifice in our hearts. And we pray that we will never stop taking the steps of sacrifice. We pray that you will lead us deeper into a relationship with you and lead us into greater success in whatever we do. Bless this university and bless all of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.